Okay. Questions for Sips. Okay. Okay, here's a here's a decent one. This is from Dan Spittle. He asks, "What is your favorite childhood film?" Question mark. Mine's probably Jurassic Park, which I would watch every hour on the hour all day, although it's over an hour long. So, yeah, how does that work? Well, it doesn't work, but I think would you have like multiple VCRs set up? Yeah, and you would just put a new tape in every hour. It'd be like singing London's Burning. Yeah, a round, it's called. You'd need like four VCRs, and you'd have to stage them all uh, around, turning them on on the hour. You'd get so much crossover, I mean. And think of how many times you'd have to listen to like the theme music, too. I mean, it's good, but... But it's good. Of course it's good. It's John Williams. It, it is good. It's not, that, it's not that good, though. I wouldn't want to hear it like that many times. Da, 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 Jurassic Park 3 was on TV the other night, and uh, I think uh, I think they just ran out of ideas. I don't know if I've even watched that. And I never watched it either. No. Even when it was on, I wasn't watching it. But I think they just ran out of ideas, so, like, they just, like, over-egged the music big time. Like, every scene had, like, just that music playing. <laughs> and it was totally inappropriate at times, too. Like, some guy was getting killed by a velociraptor, and it was just like, do, 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 do. And he's just getting like torn to shreds and stuff. That's terrible. And like I, I didn't think that was very good. I think it's interesting. It's interesting that you say you think they ran out of ideas when essentially it's just one idea, isn't it? Dinosaurs attack people. That's that's the whole concept. Wasn't it. Jurassic Park three straight to DVD? And wasn't it also set in like New York or something? Wasn't there like dinosaurs actually invading a city? I I don't know, but actually, if I would realized that that was that was the case, I might have watched it. Yeah. But from what I saw, there, there was no city attack by dinosaurs. And um, and it was just pretty bad. Was it just more island in the middle of nowhere stuff? Yeah, or... it, it had the guy. It had the um, the actor from the first one. I can't remember his name. Sam Neill, you mean? Jeff Goldblum? The old guy. The old guy that cries every time he sees a dinosaur. I mean, like, you don't need to cry every time you see a dinosaur, for fuck's sake. Why does he cry when he sees a dinosaur? I don't know. Because he's so emotionally happy that he's brought back dinosaurs, so he just can't hold it in. He just bursts into happy tears every time. Yeah, but it wasn't him, though. It was that other old guy that looks like Colonel Sanders, but just, like, 20 stone heavier. 20 stone Colonel Sanders? I don't, I'm not sure he... Was he in the third one? Um... I don't... Oh, didn't he die in the first one? He got eaten. Are you, are you talking about Richard Attenborough? Are you actually talking about Richard Attenborough? That old guy <laughs> who looks like Colonel Sanders? <laughs> in Jurassic Park 1. I think he is, yes. He did... He directed Gandhi with, um... Oh, God, what's his name? Ben Kingsley. Are you going to start crying now? Because it's bad enough that that other guy is always crying when he sees the dinosaurs. We don't need... We don't need you to start crying. <laughs> it's a it's a shame that Colonel Sanders just bursts into tears every time he sees a dinosaur. Let's, we just not spread it out too much. I know it's because he's thinking like when he sees like the big dinosaurs, he's thinking, "Oh God, think of all the chicken I could I could get out of those dinosaurs." Oh my God! Because apparently they do taste like chicken dinosaurs. They do. I I wrote an article about it once. Yeah, it's true because remember birds are like the nearest descendant. Of, to dinosaurs, aren't they? Because dinosaurs turn into pterodactyls, which turn into birds. And there is there is a big problem with this in that no one's eaten a dinosaur. Oh, yeah, but genetic analysis. Oh, well, they could have in Jurassic Park. They had the chance. But they analysed it like genetically, and and they looked at like dinosaur meat and stuff, and how it was like the the, the proteins and all the stuff were lined up. It looked most like chicken. So I think Colonel Sanders was like eyeing it up, thinking about putting the spice mix on it. I would eat the hell. Out of like a T Rex steak or like um oh like God, a triceratops wing, I'd eat the hell out of it. I would eat I would eat the ever loving shit out of a brontosaurus. <laughs> it's like in the Flintstones when they order that dinosaur thing and they put it on the side of the car and it like tips the car over. Yeah, <laughs> the ribs. I would eat. Yeah, I would love. And oh, the car that falls amazing. over. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's writing me a note. She says dinosaurs, they turned into pterodactyls. Um, she's writing a little, she's drawing me a little dinosaur sort of family tree here. 
Um, and apparently they also split up into Ar Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're writing. Oh right, okay. Wow. Well, not How does she know so much about dinosaurs? She, she's what she. These guys. When she was a kid, out. dinosaurs were like really big. These guys died out. Right. They I'm, gl I'm glad we're clearing all this up. Though. <laughs> this is good, good stuff. To turned into birds. Because raptor feathers. Is that why, like in World of Warcraft, yeah. raptors have feathers? Yeah. Because they're more related to raptors. Those are oh, separate. It all makes sense dinosaurs. now. So, t so birds didn't evolve from pterodactyls. They evolved from raptors. Apparently, yes. aren't predatory birds known as raptors? Which is why raptors are called raptors, the dinosaurs. Okay, all right, but they can't hear you, Hannah. But yeah, okay. Thank you for that. Useful no, I can we can we can hear it fine. Oh. <laughs> From across the room. It's like be it's like being in school again. Yeah, she felt she had to inform. She had to step in and inform me that I was an idiot then, which is fair enough. But they do taste like chicken. Um. So that doesn't change the fact. How long do you think it would take you to eat like a whole dinosaur? What? You could probably fill like your basement full of like tins of dinosaur chicken <laughs> that would last you well, well over ten years. I mean, dinosaurs are huge. Oh god. Oh god. Do you remember that you can actually get like a, a tin of chicken in jelly? It's like a whole oh, boned no. chicken in it's jelly. It's a really big ch mm. tin. That sounds it's horrible. It's the most disgusting. Disgusting thing yeah. in the world. Hey, on on that subject, one of the things that shocked me the most when I when I first moved to England was that you guys you guys buy hot dogs like in a can, and there's I think there's just something wrong with putting a hot dog or or like six hot dogs in a can with hot dog juice. Hot dog juice. That's probably the healthiest thing that's ever been done to that hot dog. I mean. They're made of like disgusting stuff anyway. Putting them in a can probably like actually gets rid of most of the agents that are like make them all horrible. I know, but why not just vacuum pack them like in plastic, like like normal places? Well, you can get them in vacuum pack, yeah, in like frankfurters, yeah. I don't, I don't go out there to buy them in cans. No, but just just your like just your average like wieners, like Oscar Mayer wieners. I beg your pardon. Why would you get them in a can? That's disgusting. You can get anything in a can, Sips. You can get cakes in cans and uh, like meals, a whole like meal. Oh, you, you can't get cakes in cans. Get out of town. You can get Jaffa cakes in a tube. I think that's yeah. almost the same thing, isn't it? Cakes in cans, yeah, definitely, Sips. It's like it's like a, just a cylindrical cake. It looks quite good. Um, oh, I, I mean, I I can understand how it would work, but I just can't I can't visualize it, <laughs> and I don't think it exists okay. either. Well, I'm sure you're wrong. So that's cool. Shall we move on? No, no, we're not even done yet. We haven't. Oh God. We haven't answered the question yet. What What is your actual favorite childhood film? This guy said Jurassic Park. From what I remember, Jurassic Park was in theaters for like three years. Like seriously, every time I went by a theater. Jurassic Park was playing. So that's not even your answer. That's his answer. That was his answer. So yeah. So we haven't even got around to you. No. Oh Jesus Christ! Sips. My, I think my favorite childhood film was was the original Home Alone. I, I just thought that that was the best movie ever. Oh my god! At, at the time, I remembered that as well because I remember when I was at Center Parks mm. on holiday with the family, and I, Center Parks is like a kind of a forest that you go to and you have to ride around on a bike everywhere. I fell off the bike and I actually like dislocated my jaw when I was like seven or eight and I was trapped indoors for this whole holiday. What the hell? And God. it was the best holiday of my life. Right? Because I got to watch <laughs> Home Alone and all these kids films and it was fucking great. And I had to uh, uh, the only thing I could eat was ice cream and soup. You know, so it was like amazing. It was just fantastic. I had the best holiday ever. What kind of soup though? It had to be like purely liquid soup, right? Like it couldn't have like couldn't soup. have lumps in it. I'm not a big fan of the lumpy soup, though. I mean, because they're like, always like red-hot magma bits, and they kind of just burn you to death. Well, no, I mean, they're not that bad. Well, the, well, they are the way my parents used to cook them. My parents only eat food that is, like, at one million degrees centigrade. What's up with that? I like lukewarm food. Like, I don't really like, like, steaming hot food. My parents are the kind of people who send stuff back if it's, like, lukewarm, you know? They're like, this is not cooked enough. And then they put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and bring it back out or whatever. Um, oh, God. Yeah. 
Are they, are your parents like the type of people that like sort of do that kind of stuff every time you go out somewhere to eat? Yeah, yeah. They always talk about how hot the food is. That's the biggest like that's top oh. of the list. With mine, it's always like how long things are taking. Like within within two minutes of ordering something, they have to like flag someone down and be like, um, where where's our food by the way? And like you can these these people just get so angry. You can see it in their face. <laughs> And I'm just like sitting at the back, like with my my face in my hands, like trying to hide, wishing I was dead. And they're just like, "Oh yeah, it'll be, it'll probably be about 20 minutes." And then they they'll flag them down like a good two or three more times in between that time. <laughs> we don't do fast food. We do good food as fast as we can. They probably have one of those signs up. Are your parents people who do they order tap water, a, a jug of tap water? Specifically, what do your parents like to drink, Sips? I don't know. I I never really paid attention, actually. What are, What about your parents? Are they like Are they like wine drinkers? Uh, oh, do your parents do that thing where they have to like sniff the wine and like slush it around in their mouths a bit and spit it out into like a bucket? Yeah, no, they don't do that. No, I don't know that. I don't know. I think they're fairly normal. What about your parents, Simon? Well, my dad does that whole you know swishing around thing, but he does it with a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You can see the hair sprouting from his chin. But like the whole bottle, like he just <laughs> chugs the whole bottle and swishes it around. Yeah, he doesn't really taste it. It just sort of goes straight down his his gullet. And uh, my mum doesn't really, you know, drink uh, except to uh, to forget. <laughs> <laughs> she only drinks to deal with your dad. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh. I hope they don't listen to this. They won't uh, mind. It's fine. Childhood films, then. <laughs> Simon, what was yours? You didn't say. Uh, Ghostbusters 2, I think. What a great film. Why 2? Because it was the better one. That's why. Don't get me wrong. It was good, but nothing beats the first one. Nothing beats the first one, apart from 2. No. Which does beat it. It was a rare sequel that was actually as good. 2, ha- two had Vigo in it. Is it Vigo? A child. It had the guy from Ali McBeal. Yeah, well. yeah, I remember. And he was always like Vigo, and then and then they had that pink slime, the happy slime, or was it the angry slime? It was amazing, wasn't it? The, the slime oh. that collected underneath New York because everybody was so angry. Yeah. And then the Statue of Liberty started walking. God, that's such a kids' film premise, isn't it? <laughs> The slime, like, collects all the anger of people in the city. I mean, these are kind of films that were, like, you know, these are all cult classics, really. But, I mean, when I when you ask childhood film, the instant thing I think of is, like, the Disney film that you remember most strongly from your youth. And the one I remember was, was Dumbo, for some reason. I think it's because my gran had the VHS of Dumbo, and that was basically the only VHS she had. And so, through the age of four to about seven... Every time I went to my nans, we always watched Dumbo. And I must have seen that film, like, 30 or 40 times. And also, this is the other thing. I remember them having a VHS of Spider-Man, like a really old Spider-Man film from, like, 19... I don't know, 80-something, early 80s. But when I kind of looked for it on IMDb, I couldn't really find one. So I don't know what this film that I used to watch as a kid was. They taped it off the telly. I mean, it had the adverts and stuff in it as well. So I remember, like, watching this same thing it was taped off the telly with the adverts over and over again. <laughs> my childhood. Oh, my God. Gra- grandparents always have, like, <laughs> such a shitty collection of VHS tapes. I know. Like, it makes no sense whatsoever. Like, like my, my, my grandmother was married to... Like, she remarried to a guy that I, I never even called Grandpa. His, his name was just Ray. So it was like, and uh, and his oh, his VHS collection was he he'd like taped Charlie Chaplin movies like off TV like off public broadcasting, and uh, and and then he just taped like a bunch of like American football games, and that's all he had on tape like in his whole tape collection. And he had like a hundred tapes. It was crazy, but like nobody could watch them. What the hell? He was he was nuts. He was very protective of his tapes, was he? He sounds like a scary man. <laughs> he was. He was. He was pretty scary. And um, and like you try to like watch Charlie Chaplin, and he'd be like laughing his head off. And like I'm sure that was like pretty funny, like in the 1920s or whatever. But like <laughs> this is the 80s. It wasn't that funny. And I'm just sitting. There. It was like really awkward. Like wasn't even laughing. And uh, God, 
Jeez, I'm just like, I'm just glad I'm not a kid anymore. We, I didn't really watch Disney movies as a kid. I watched sort of, I don't know, goofy things. Movies that, you know, aren't use certificate, but are like PGs. So I wouldn't be watching animations of like deers hmm. crying or Flying The Lion elephants. King or yeah. anything. I think it was a bit old for The Lion King, actually. Uh, that would have been pretty weird if I was watching it at, like, mm. 18 or something. So I just watched, I don't know, action movies and things. Terrible things. Things that kids probably shouldn't watch. Which probably explains why I'm like I am. Oh. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. So there you go. There's a moral there, kids. If you want to be like me... Don't watch movies for children. Watch lots of violent movies uh, and stuff with ghosts in, I guess, as well. Did Did your parents ever like try to like prevent you from watching like an excessively violent movie, like when you were younger? Well, Akira got mysteriously wiped because I had a VHS of that, and that just disappeared one day. God, that's a bit of a. I didn't really get that when I watched uh, it when I was about 20. Do you think it's because it was anime or because it had violence in it? It's pretty violent and pretty grotesque. Either that or, you know, my parents really, really, really wanted to watch that episode of Antiques Roadshow. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So, some, some of them are really good. I mean, I, I can't blame them. 